Nick Cannon is adding another baby to his brood. The 41-year-old confirmed that he is expecting his eighth child with model Brie Ticey during his daytime talk show on Monday. All right, y'all, so here it is. I never usually use my own personal pictures as pick of the day, but today I have to do it because I want to share this beautiful, extraordinary moment. Uh, it's me and uh, Brie, the next mother <laughs> uh, of our child. It's a boy we found out officially yesterday. Even that felt, it's weird, because that, that sounds weird saying the next mother, because uh, as everybody knows, I have a lot of children. And, um, and I love them all, dearly, sincerely. The pair celebrated the news with a party in Malibu over the weekend and revealed if they're having a boy or girl. This is their first child together, and Brie, who finalized her divorce with her ex-husband Johnny Manziel in November, will be a first-time mom. The Masked Singer host is already the father of seven other kids. He shares 10-year-old twins Moroccan and Monroe with Mariah Carey, 4-year-old Golden and 1-year-old Powerful Queen with Brittany Bell, and 7-month-old twins Zion and Zillion, whom he had with Abby De La Rosa. Nick also welcomed Zen with Alyssa Scott in June 2021. He tragically died on December 5th after being diagnosed with brain cancer last year. The news of his latest addition comes nearly two months after the passing of his young son. On his show, he explained how challenging the situation has been. This whole process was extremely difficult for me because um, I'm known about, you know, Bree's pregnancy for a while now, even before my youngest son, Zen, passed in December. And so even going through all of that, this was always in the back of my mind, like, when is the right time? How do I share this? You know, no one... We didn't expect Zen to pass away. We didn't, you know, the, all of the news was so unexpected. So to kind of figure out a chronological order or a hierarchy, it just, it, it kept me up at night. He went on to open up about his grieving process. I always talk about the guilt that I felt, you know, in, in losing Zen and even for, you know, how to deal with this for my other children. And that was a lot of the guilt as well, too. The, the guilt for everyone involved. And I just really want to say thank you to every one of my family members who've just been so understanding and helping me through this process because um, it's weird, like, what do you do, you know? I wanted to definitely respect the grieving process with Alyssa and, and, and Bree was, was respectful enough to, she, she held off making her announcements. Nick said that he hears people claim that he is careless, irresponsible, and selfish, but says he is in a good place and loves all of his children unconditionally. At the end of the day, when when a life comes into this world, it's a celebration. And I'm excited, I'm happy. And y'all gonna go with me on this entire journey, so for all the doubters and naysayers, non-believers, pessimists, antagonists in my incredible journey, who don't wish me and my family a happy ending, well, you gonna see. We gonna get to it. I'm gonna be the best dad I could possibly be, because I'm trying my best.